and we're back uh, opening another box of Magic the Gathering. This is Core 2020 that we're opening and doing this kind of on my own now, so making sure the camera's all right. All right, let's begin. So far, the boxes I've opened have been pretty good. Take one from the center. I don't know. Seems like something I always like to do. Just top dead center. Well, let's go through the commons here real quick. Uncommons. Night pack ambusher. We have a token. Glad to see Shock still going to make it another uh, go around. Nice one drop kill spell. Drop back. Nice. I don't think she's going to be worth much, but still just a cool card. <coughs> the ability to just tap one white and tap other creatures to bring it out is really good. Especially in situations where your man is not flowing as it should be. Which I'm all too familiar with. And the dragon. So two legendaries in a row. something one day over there. He is a, only a three drop so can't be an effective creature. Colossus Hammer, another Ancestral Blade, Bishop of the Wings, Well, Gross Cycle, not bad. I, I kind of like that card so I'm kind of pleased with that. See what else is coming out. We're going to see some foiled temples. Ah, I mean, oh, another legendary. So this is the legendary box. That's like four legendary creatures so far out of very li little packs. A low number of packs. There we go. Don't have him yet. We'll anticipate. That's always good. Probably a dollar. Glad to see anticipate come back. Like to see him bring the, the gear hulks back, but I doubt they will. That's a Kaladesh thing, I believe. And another draft digger's cage. One in every box. I guess there has to be some amount of fodder in each box. I just hate to see it. The first box I opened was amazing. Of course, the last box I opened on film uh, was uh, pretty good. There's a master splicer. That's nice. Still waiting to see a mythic. Preferably foiled. 
And there is a temple. So glad I didn't sell my lambs before. Because they were only offering like a dollar or fifty cents for them. Now I'll get twice that. And a ley line sanctity. Hell yeah. Oh, foil field of the dead. Looks nice. I don't know if it's actually worth anything, but it's definitely a rare I don't have. Look at that. I got so excited I put it over the ley line. That is a very good pack. I'd like to see the ley line foil and the other one regular in that pack, but maybe that's the next one. There's Chandra. Definitely like seeing her come out. So far, no mythics though. Planar cleansing. Lots of legendary, lots of legendaries, but no uh, really good mythics. Any mythics? Well, no, there was the one. I'm sorry, I forgot to separate that out. So one mythic so far. Last box I opened had five. I was hoping that was like the average. Oh, Cavalier of the Gates. No metal knight. Really atrocious mana cost on that thing. Five on that. Three being blue specific. Shifting, yeah, that's pretty good. There, I didn't have that one yet. I'm sure by the end of this I'll have multiples on a lot of foil cards. Tectonic Rift foil. Really hoping to see the reverse and have the ley line in there foil. Because so far every box I have opened has had two foil rares. I don't know if that's a, a standard thing now. There's the uncommon Chandra. There she is. Two Chandras in one pack. There's the Mythic. Why can't I have her foil? Three methods so far. Nothing crazy to print on this. Uh, seems to be a lot better than the printing of the Modern Horizon set. There, this card. I actually looked through my cards and found the misprint. And if you notice, the card stock is a lot different from the pre release versus what's in the boxes on the first print line. The stuff from the pre-release feels like a better stock of card. But as you can see in the lower corner, it has it's a 2-3. It's actually a 2-2. Two, two. I thought that was really neat.
really not a fan of the way they stack the packs. I'd rather have the rare at the top. Bag of holding. Yeah, York's Wave Crasher foil. Who knows, maybe it's worth something. There we go, Leyline of the Void. The card was $17 last I checked, so very good. Be definitely happy to have a couple play sets of that to hold on to. Leyline of Anticipation and a Poor Forest. So, that's three of the ley lines together well I guess it wasn't as close as I thought it was but still fairly close to each other in the box that looks cool I haven't seen that one yet Dungeon Geist, oil. Not the mythic I was hoping for, or the ley line. And start for the mystic. I noticed they're not letting the, uh, like if you get one of the temples, it's your rare. It's not the laying card. Which I'm kind of disappointed in. I like other sets where they've done the, the land doesn't replace the rare. There we go, Thunderkin again. Summons. Another corpse light. There's a regular dungeon geist. Too bad it's not the most sought after card in the set. There's Gullus for a sprite. Another Evolving Wilds. They should at least change to another art. Yeah, put a plane on it, something weird. There's lots of options. There we go, Johnny. And the foil bow. So he came equipped. And five packs left in this box. There's the ley line of combustion. I think this is another box I got with all the ley lines in it. The first one was like that. There's the ley line of abundance.
That's three packs. Wanting to see a foil mythic come out. Come on. There is another mythic. <laughs> Bless me. Even though it's not a uh, foil. Still appreciate it. So five mythics to this box. It's seemed to be the average. Although my first box only contained uh, two or three. And in the last pack, it's the foil mythic hiding in the bottom right hand corner of the box. Let's find out. Nope. There was a demon there. Alright, well, that was the second box, and uh, I hope you guys uh, liked the video. Real interesting to see how everything comes out to play. So, alright, keep tuning, I'll keep opening, or keep tuning in, I'll keep opening up boxes.